Hi everyone and welcome to Printago, where our vision is to simplify your 3D printing workflows. We'll free your time up to run your business more efficiently, whether that means to you designing more new products, adding automated personalization to existing ones, or expanding the new e-commerce sites, we're set up to scale with you and succeed with you on your 3D printing journey. As you can see on my screen, I have just created a new Printago account. <clears throat> so let's jump into it and get some printers set up. Before we get started, to connect your bamboo printers, you'll have to do just a few things first. First, you'll have to go through the initial setup and pair uh, your new printers with your Bamboo account. The second thing you'll need to do is go into Orca Slicer or Bamboo Studio and make sure that your settings are all set to auto sync with the cloud because that's where we'll be getting them. And you can turn that setting on and off right here inside. Uh, I have it open in Orca Slicer. This checkbox right here in preferences. Under presets, you'll find auto sync user presets and you'll want to enable that. That makes sure that all your user slicer settings are sent up to the cloud where we're gonna fetch them in a moment. Okay, and that's it. So to get going quickly here, going quickly, we'll add some printers. So we can hop over to the printers, printing menu and go down to printers. Since I don't have anything added, it's asked me to configure my bamboo printers. And we are using cloud mode, so you'll have to enter your bamboo credentials here. Land mode will come in the future, but I'll go ahead and sign in. And after putting in your credentials, you'll be asked to, to enter your bamboo authenticator code or get it from your email. And we'll do that real quick. Okay, and the next thing you see here is a list of all our printers that are paired to our Bamboo account. Uh, and we're gonna import them all uh, into our Printago account. The very next thing you see are all of my machine profiles, my filament profiles, my process profiles that have been uh, synced from Bamboo Studio or Orca Slicer. So we'll hit next. And to re-import new ones, I'll show you how to do that at the end because the next thing that we need to, do, need to do is set up our printers. This will determine their default configuration. We slice everything on demand in Printago, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna set up default profiles for these printers. You can use system profiles or uh, your user profile. So I'm gonna use this user profile and attach it to the machine. Filament profiles, we'll just set it up with Bamboo PLA Basic. I'm the basic one, where is it? There it is. And finally, a process profile. This will be the default process profile that the printer uses when files are printed to it. And I'll show you how to override those in a future video as well. So we'll just make our default here for the printer extra draft. So again, all three of these things must be set up on a printer as well as the familiar bed, bed plate setting uh, that we see in Bamboo. And if you'd like the printer to do bed leveling and the flow calibration each time it prints as well. Finally, we have a check box for use AMS, which is familiar to Bamboo users. In our case, uh, for right now, except for some special 3MF files, uh, use AMS will just means that it's pulling from slot one of your AMS. Whatever's put in slot one is what it's going to use. Um, or if you uncheck this, it's going to look for your external spool. So I'm going to go ahead and save that for my X1. And now I'm going to show you how to set up a bunch at once. So a lot of folks have the same printer, a lot of X1s or a lot of P1Ss or minis. So what you can do here is we're going to set up one. And I'm going to set it with a system profile. Again, we'll find Bamboo PLA Basic quicker this time. And we'll set this one up a little different. We'll set all our P1Ss to iron the topmost layer, which is just a setting I have. We have cool plates and AMS is on the machines, and we don't need to, I don't need to do uh, bed leveling on mine each time. And what you can do here is you can save it to one printer, or you can save it to all the printers in the group. And when we do this, it double checks with us. And now we see we have all those set up. And now we will quickly set up our last printer here for our demo. And now all of our printers are set up. And now if we go back to, uh, actually that brings us back to this screen, which is in settings, integrations. So if you need to pull in your profiles again, if you need to refresh them, you can just click that button on the integration page to configure and just run through the wizard again and it'll pick up any new profiles and these will remain configured and you can hit finish and that's that. All of your profiles are listed here where you can delete them from Pentago and sort them by these things if you don't need them anymore, if you've accidentally imported ones that are from old parts or anything like that. Um, but otherwise, we'll see our printers here, along with all their information.
So that's great and easy. So let's get a part um, and print some parts. So for that, we're going to go to products and we're going to go to parts. For this video, we're just going to set up the part in a very basic configuration. And I'll go over what some of these other process profile and filaments means in a future video about parts and SKUs, where you can override the printer defaults. So I'm going to go ahead and create that part and that'll upload it to our secure cloud. Once the part's created, it'll just take a second for a thumbnail to generate. And while it's doing that, we're just going to hit print. And for sake of simplicity for this quick start guide, we're just going to let it go to the next available printer and we're going to print 50 of them. And we're going to hit print part. And we can see that 50 jobs are pending and they're getting put into the queue. So if I pop up here to the print queue, oh, we will see that we have 50 of our egg cup holders. But none are printing yet. Um, during my, uh, my trial, I'll have unlimited slots to print to any of the printers I have configured uh, simultaneously, but they're not printing. There's one more thing that you have to do, and that is to come in here and mark the printers as clear and ready. Since we don't take control of the printers exclusively, uh, that means you can still print to them from Handy or Bamboo Studio or Orca or any other way. But when the print is done, that means that we need to know that the bed is clear and ready, that you've marked it clear and ready. So you can come in here to an individual print screen. You can link to it from the completed or uh, canceled or error pages too. Uh, it'll be in there. And you can also select all of them and any that are awaiting to be ready, you can just mark as clear and ready at once. It'll warn you and make sure that you uh, are sure that all those printers want to be ready. And then before we know it, we have all of our printers up and going. I have my eighth one printing something else outside of Printago. Um, but you see these parts are all slicing at once. And as soon as they're done slicing, they're going to go to those printers. And, um, and that's it. We're automating and we're making 50 of our, uh, of our egg cup holders. And one more thing I'll show you in this video before we stop our quick start is that you can uh, easily just reorder the queue. So if you need to, uh, of course, it doesn't matter since we printed 50 of the same thing. But perhaps if we had another part in here that we had to prioritize, you just drag it to the top of the queue. And those are the parts that get processed next. And, uh, well, as long as we're talking about it, uh, since I don't really need to print all of these things right now, we can pause, resume, or we can cancel jobs. Uh, and now that they're canceled, we can see the marker printers is clear and ready again. And in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and cancel these out of the queue. So that's it. Thanks for checking us out. Uh, we hope to see you in our Discord. You can reach us there if you have any questions uh, really easily. We're online most of the time. And we'll have some more videos in the future uh, talking about a little bit deeper dive into all of our features. The next one will be on parts and SKUs and different types of parts that we support and customization with them. So thanks again and happy printing.